So many of times prior to working with somebody like me or you, people are very misinformed when it comes to what they should put in a protein shake. And we hear it all. Yep. We'll hear about, you know, their loaded shake that has avocado and fruits and coffee and oats and all these things. And uh, typical is, you know, using things like almond milk and peanut butter and yogurt and oats and all these things loaded up into your protein shake almost defeats the pro purpose of the protein shake, which is to give you um, some extra protein in your day and not overload it with carbs and fats, extra carbs and fats that we don't necessarily need. And it also can wreak havoc on your digestive system and like cause cramps yeah. and cramping, right? For sure. Not only is it um, a lot of fat and a lot of carbs, but it's also a lot of calories. Yeah, like so you can turn, this is 110 calories for this shake and it's quite filling. And you can turn it into, um, this got 90 calories for a tablespoon. And people are very, um, when it comes to measurements, people are very uh, misinformed. misinformed and underestimate how much peanut butter they're actually putting in, number one. Number two, they're putting in almond milk. Yeah, which is just full of fillers. It, yeah. And they're they're filling up. This is a question we get asked often: is you know, can I put almond milk in my shake? Absolutely not. Yeah. It's going to add another seventy calories for that. We've got an eighty calorie banana. Um, all in all, you're adding an extra three four hundred calories to a hundred ten calorie shake. Yeah. And so, what about the oats? The oats. It really depends. Mm -hmm. All I know is when people come into my store. They will tell me what they're putting in their smoothie and they think they're off to a great start for their day yeah. and it's always banana, strawberry, raspberry, pineapple, yeah. a pinch Loaded. of spinach. Yeah, a pinch. And they, yeah. Yeah. and they think that that's gonna be great, but it's just sugar. When you add something like um, oats, it's going to do the same thing. Carbs are great for you, don't get me wrong, but it's just when in the day you're having them, yeah. how much you're having throughout the day because it does turn into sugar in the and body. And people seem to think that these little things count as nothing in their yeah. day. It's like they just, ha they just had a shake and then meanwhile the shake, I get a lot of people who come to me and their shake ends up being five to 700 calories and they were just completely unaware. Yeah. And so our go-to, our recommendation, what I always say is it's water and ice with yeah. your protein shake and then Nadia will always say, Add greens. Add greens. You can't taste it. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to increase the digestion of the protein. Again, you can pair leafy greens with any food. You can pair it with carbs. You can pair it with fats. You can pair it with proteins. And so something I also want to mention is um, how misinformed people are about almond milk. So yeah. almonds cost on average $14.99 a pound. So a bag of almonds is about $14.99 for the pound. This is $4.99. <laughs> okay. You get on average six to 11 almonds per jug, one liter, I believe it's a liter. It's a one, almost one and a half liter. So maybe you're getting 12 almonds in here, um, less probably. And so what else, what are they consuming, Nadia? First of all, anything like I make almond milk at the store. Yes, big difference. Number one is it does not stay stable for more than four days. No. When you I, can buy- Two to three days. Yeah, yeah exactly. When you can stuff. buy this, in the grocery store, not in a refrigerator, you have to know that there's an issue with you it. You gotta question it. Yeah. It's not almond milk, uh, fillers, thickeners, um, cane sugar, calcium carbonate, sunflower lectin, sea salt, potassium citrate, carob bean gum, um, almond beverage in brackets, water and almonds. Mm, so That's the last ingredient. Yeah. So almonds is the last ingredient okay. in an almond milk. So, you know, buyer beware, you have to realize, and it tastes fantastic because it's, it's got five grams of sugar. So make your almond milk, don't be putting it in your shake, and don't add an extra 400 calories to your shake either. 